All right, this is how a real scientist goes out and gets a rate law for measuring the concentration of some material versus time. The kinetics of the reaction 2A going to C was studied by monitoring the concentrations of A as a function of time. So we get this data, and then we plot the data three different ways. A versus time, that is for a zero order reaction. Natural log of A versus time, that is for a first order reaction. And one over A versus time, that is for a second order reaction. And basically we just look at all three plots and see which one is linear, which is this one. So this is our answer. What is the rate law for the reaction? We know it is second order. So our rate must be equal to K times the concentration of A squared. Okay. The next part says, given the following concentrations, determine the specific rate constant for the reaction at the temperature studied. All right, well, essentially what we need is the slope of the line. For zero order reactions, if this were a line, the slope would be equal to minus k. For first order reactions, if this were a linear line, the slope would be also be equal to minus k. This particular one, which is second order, the slope is equal to k. So we just need to find the slope. Now the old fashioned way of finding the slope is the change in y over the change in x. So that's what we'll do, okay? Alright, so I'm going to put the equal sign a little bit lower here. Um, I can do any number of times. Uh, I guess I'll do the longest time gap. So let's do from 5 seconds to 0 seconds. Okay. Now I need to take the concentration at 5 seconds and do it the way we plotted it. That would be 1 over 0.0450 minus the concentration at no time, which is 0 0.2600. So let me put that into my calculator. And my math tells me that the value comes out to be 3.675. And my units are going to be, it's, this is 1 over molar and also over seconds, so it's going to be molar to the minus 1, seconds to the minus 1. All right, now just one very important thing though. This rate right here is the rate of change in A over change in time. The reaction rate has to be for something with a coefficient of 1. So in our reaction, remember this is 2A going to C. We need to have it for something with a coefficient of 1 or divide this by the coefficient. So I really need to take 3.675 m 1 over m sex and also divide it by 2. And that will give me the value 1.837 1 over molar times seconds. And then finally I should worry about sig figs. Um, these are kind of three sig fig values so I guess technically it should be 1.84 and then units of molar per second. So that is my answer for my rate constant. Okay, the last piece asks what are the units of the rate constant? Uh, I've kind of given it away here in um, this question when I was actually carrying units with my calculation. But let's go over why the answer is so, okay? The rate of any reaction is equal to, in this case, K, and since we are dealing with a second order, it would be concentration of A squared. The units of a rate are always in molar per second. A is going to be in molar and it's squared. 
So the question really is asking us what goes in the parentheses. We need a second on the bottom. We also need a molar on the bottom. So that when I multiply this out, um, you know, I get down to molar to the first on top. So my answer for the units is going to be 1 over molar seconds, or sometimes we write this molar to the minus 1 seconds to the minus 1. And that's how you do that.